why was my visa put into administrative processing? Why was my visa delayed? Why was I given the 221G worksheet? Hi, my name is Joshua Goldstein and I'm an immigration lawyer and I help families across the country and around the world get their visas out of administrative processing. So let's dive right in and answer the question of why your visa was put into administrative processing. This is a source of tremendous frustration because it makes no sense. Your visa is very similar to a friend or family's uh, visa. Both cases look similar. Your friend got his visa approved very quickly and yours is stuck. So why? Why did that happen? The important thing to know about administrative processing is that the government is very secretive about this. They don't give any information about what they're checking with administrative processing. What is the nature of the delay? What caused the delay? How long is it going to take for them to finish administrative processing? What steps, if any, are you, the visa applicant, supposed to do? Are you supposed to provide documents or information? A lot of times they just leave you waiting blindly with no information. You try to contact the consulate and you get nowhere. It's just, they give you a boilerplate email that just says to check back in 30 or 60 days. It's really frustrating. You don't have any information. You don't know what's going on and you're just sitting on your hands and waiting. So what is really going on? I've been involved in countless lawsuits against consulates around the world. I've sued many, many of these consulates to challenge administrative processing delays. And I can tell you that I'm just as confused as everyone else is about administrative processing. But from my experience, I can point to two factors that suggest why a particular visa might be in administrative processing. It's not everyone who's in administrative processing has these two factors, but nevertheless, these are the ones that I come across in my practice. The first factor as to why you might be in administrative processing is that there's some underlying legal complication with your case. Maybe, for example, I had a case where my client needed a waiver, an I-601 waiver. So I helped him apply for a waiver. We got the waiver approved. But instead of processing the visa and issuing the visa to my client, they said, oh no, we're going to put you into administrative processing. And he sat there and then we were able to get him resolved, but we had to take extra action. So a lot of times people who are in, in administrative processing, there's some underlying problem. I had another case, for example, where my client was a US citizen. She petitioned for her parents. Her parents, this, this case was in Vietnam, and her parent, her father had been in the Communist Party. Well, Vietnam is a communist country. Practically everyone's in the Communist Party. He wasn't a politician. He was just a businessman, and the Communist Party is something you join to get along in society. There are, it should have caused no problems whatsoever for them to issue the visa. But nevertheless, that case was stuck in administrative processing until we got involved and we were able to challenge it and get it approved. So the number one reason why I think your case might be in administrative processing is that there's some issue or the consulate thinks there's some issue. The second reason for why your case is in administrative processing, and this is the, this is the main one really, is that you are Muslim or you're from a predominantly Muslim country. So if you're, if, you, if, you're, if you're from Sudan, Iran, Afghanistan, Morocco, Lebanon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, there's a, there's a good chance that your case will be put in administrative processing. Much better chance of that happening than if you're not Muslim and you're from France. Now, this is infuriating because it's profiling based on religion. It's profiling and discrimination based on your country of national origin. There's no reason in the world why Muslims should be treated differently than anyone else, or people from, from one country should not be treated differently than people from the next. There is no reason in the world why Muslims should be discriminated against through our visa system. It's flat out illegal. It's unconstitutional to discriminate based on national origin or ethnicity or race. 
That's blatant discrimination and it infuriates me. It's a grave injustice. And that's one reason I've dedicated my career to helping people who are stuck in administrative processing. It's not right. It's not what America is all about. It's unfair, it's un-American, and we need to stand up and challenge administrative processing for the injustice that it is. So, to summarize, there are two reasons for why your visa is in administrative processing. Most likely it's because one of these two things. First, there's some underlying legal issue. I'm not saying that there's uh, grounds to deny your case, but nevertheless, there's some, there's some complication. And the second reason is that you're from a Muslim country, a predominantly Muslim country, or you yourself are Muslim. I'm not saying this is fair or this is right, but this is just what's happening right now. One more thing I wanna say. Before Donald Trump became president, administrative processing was incredibly rare. This was an unusual thing that happened. Now, under the Trump administration, it's the policy. People are categorically being put in administrative processing. It's almost like administrative processing is a tool. It's like they're building a legal wall to prevent you from coming into the US. The good news, is that there's a solution. There are things you can do to fight this. And I've devoted my career to helping people stuck in administrative processing and getting them out of administrative processing fast. So if you're stuck in administrative processing, if your visa is delayed and you need help or you have questions, get in touch with me, send me a question, shoot me an email, and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks.